Happy first of the month, everyone. It is that time again for my monthly listens. I will be talking about my August listens. And if you have not checked out the Spotify playlists that I make every month, and you can do that, all of that is in the description. I put my favorite tracks from each of these albums on that playlist and also some other stuff that I've been listening to. So it's all there. You can check out what I've been listening to and what I've been liking this month. So August was a very, very good month for me because I checked out so much new music. I'm really happy I did that. I really forced myself to listen to an album a day. I didn't really get around to listening to an album per day or a new one per day. This is going to be probably the most interesting video that I've put out in terms of monthly listens for the past couple of months because the last couple of months haven't been overly great to be honest. I mean the albums were great but I didn't listen to an awful lot so this will be really good because I listened to a lot. Also there will be a video coming soon probably in the next week or so updating you on what the situation is going to be for my channel for the next three years because I'm moving out and I'm going to university and I'm going to be spending all my time doing university things and studying and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to be letting you guys know how that's going to work out. Today let's focus on the monthly lessons. We, I've got a good pile here and some very new to me things and some things that I've known a bit about uh, or known songs from. The first album, so The Miracle by Queen. I have been doing a series on my TikTok where I've been spinning the album roulette wheel thing and I've put all my albums into that roulette wheel and it'll land on one and I have to listen to that album. This was the first one and I'm a big fan of Queen so I was interested to listen to it because this is 80s Queen, well really end of the 80s Queen, uh, but I really really enjoyed this album. I actually put quite a lot of the songs from this on that playlist because I really really enjoyed it and it's still very dramatic and that's what I love, the whole drama behind Queen and all that kind of stuff. It's really great, I really recommend this one. Um, notable tracks for me include obviously I Want It All because that was the song I knew before listening to this album but Scandal and also Breakthrough were my favourites from this album when I first listened to it. So this is great, so if you like Queen definitely check this one out. I know not many people out there do like Queen who watch my channel, I think a lot of people Get annoyed when I talk about Queen on my channel, but I am going to talk about them because they're a band I really, really like. Another one by a band that I really, really love, I mean really love, going to more progressive rock stuff now. I have not delved into this decade of this band. We're going to the 80s again, by the way. It was really great. I had to re-listen to it several times to really like it a lot. And that is Power Windows by Rush. Now, first listen, there were some tracks that I was like, I like this a lot, but there were also a lot of tracks where I was like, it's okay. My favourite track from this album was Mystic Rhythms, which is the last track on the album. That is such a powerful song. I absolutely love it and I listen to it a lot, actually. I've been listening to that song a lot. But this was really good. It's still got a kind of progressive feel because it's Rush, of course, it's going to have superb musicianship and all that. A few moments where I thought, oh, the synths are a little cheesy, but it's Rush, I can get past it. Thank you for all the people who have actually been recommending me 80s Rush. This is also one that the spinny wheel thingy landed on, so I've really had to force myself to listen to it because I was a little worried to listen to it first because I was like, well the 80s is kind of notorious for the progressive rock being not as good, but I'm going to go in open-minded and non-biased because that's how I approach music. On re-listens, I really enjoyed the whole thing again. Marathon Territories and I knew the first track on the, on the album before listening to it, The Big Money, but this is really, really good and I really enjoyed it. Going back a couple of decades now from the 80s, we're going back to the 60s, another roulette wheel pick and one that I had not heard in a long time and I love this band. I'm talking about the Beatles here, I'm talking about Revolver. Revolver was one that I had heard a couple of times on several occasions, but I never paid attention to it because we've usually put it on. In the background. I just have a very vivid memory of me and Yon putting this on while we were playing Monopoly once and I wasn't really paying too much attention to it but I really sat down and paid attention to it and it was so so great the songwriting oh my god it was amazing. I obviously knew I think the first few tracks I did know anyway you know Taxman and Eleanor Rigby but the rest of the album so 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 good. I really like the George Harrison numbers on this album that's me being a little bit biased because he's my favourite Beatle and I, I re-listened to it several times since. This was at the beginning of the month as well so I have been listening to it a lot um, but fantastic album. I'm not going to tell you to listen to it because you've already got it. 
and listen to it, most definitely. Okay, so this one's really not going to come as a surprise to anyone, and this is an album I have heard so many times, and every time I listen to this album I always pick up on something new, and that is Fragile by Yes. I'm going to hold up two copies for some reason, because the one I listened to this month was the Stephen Wilson one, but I'm going to hold up this one because this is what the original album cover looks like. I already loved this album, so I'm not going to really touch on it too much because you guys know my feelings towards Yes and this album, but I've been picking up on some little details that I didn't really pick up on before, or tracks that I've been listening to more than I used to. So tracks that I usually listen to on this album, if I'm going about my daily life, would be things like South Side of the Sky, Long Distance Run Around, Mood for a Day, Heart of the Sunrise. Those are ones, and Roundabout, that I listen to probably the most. I've been really, really listening into We Have Heaven so much this month and it's, it's a very short track but it's such a beautiful track and i'd love to cover it at some point it's amazing and i really picked up on on it more the second million t time that i've heard it but it was really great and i love all the little the little tracks on this album that really make it it's a classic progressive rock album and you should listen to it if you haven't already although again most likely you've already got a copy and you've already heard it 110 times like me Okay, so if you can see in the background here, this is a new album that I received. This is a band here, Three Piece. Oh, can't reach it. Uh, the Police. They were a band that I've known for a long, long, long time because I think everyone just kind of knows them anyway. But I really dived into their discography this month and found a lot of great stuff i mean this is they've been the band of the month for me personally like i've been listening to them non-stop like we'll go on car journeys train journeys whatever and i'll be listening to at least like three or four police songs the first one that started this kind of mini obsession that i've got at the moment with the police it's quite quite funny uh was regatta de blanc uh, this was the album that kind of made me realize how good they are uh because i knew they were good but i don't realize how good and the most notable thing for me about this album that i picked up on was the drumming and i think that if they had a different drummer possibly even a different guitarist as well i wouldn't like them as much i've said this to my dad i said this to everyone if they had those two elements different and they weren't as inventive or creative i probably wouldn't like them as much i love every track on this album i've been listening to this album out of all of the ones that i listened to them by them this month the most i remember sitting in my room this was a couple of weeks ago and i had this album on spotify i wish i didn't i wish i listened to the vinyl because i forgot that we had it and i was like oh my god this album it's so good where has this been all my life i guess because i've just been really into progressive rock and just kind of blocked out anything else that happened in the 70s <laughs> kind of for the past few months but i really enjoyed this and it's one that's been on my repeat uh most notable tracks for me I'm annoyed. This is all in cursive, so I'm gonna have to try and read this now. Bring on the night. Other than Message in a Bottle, that one was probably my favourite. Um, Walking on the Moon. On Any Other Day, that's an amusing track. I, I listened to it when I have a bit of a laugh, because it's, it's a silly one. Uh, Bed's Too Big Without You and Contact. I could say the whole album, but those five are my favourites, and you'll find them all on the playlist. Uh, but this is not the only police album I'm going to be talking about in this video, um, but they will come a bit later, the other ones. The next album. So, as you guys know, I went to the New Day Festival this year, and the headliner for the Friday was Mar the Martin Bar Band. They were playing the whole of Aqualung. So I got really back into that album after the festival, before and after, because I loved it at both points, so I'm just holding this up now. Again, same with Fragile. I picked up on more tracks that I didn't really appreciate as much when I first, second, third time hearing it. Cross-Eyed Mary, Mother Goose, Wandering Round, My God, and Hymn 43 were five tracks on this album that I thought, why did I not pay attention to these when I first listened to it? You know, especially My God, with it's just th those lyrics. Oh my God, and the guitar. and That is probably now... Up there with my favourite Jethro Tull tracks that has been on repeat for, for a while now. But I haven't put that many Jethro Tull tracks on that playlist because you guys know my thoughts and opinions on this album anyway. So I'm not going to drag on too much. Okay, we're going to go back to the police again. You know what? I'm just going to talk about these. So that album, also um, Alanders de Moore. These are the two that I've heard recently. Regatta de Blanc was 
the first one I heard and that one I listened to over and over and over and then I was like, you know, I should probably listen to their other albums as well um, because, you know, I don't want to get tired of it. So I listened to their first album. Very good. Still prefer Regatta de Bois, but I liked this one. I liked the kind of punky beginnings. And then the only problem I have with this album is the last few tracks um, I'm not really that much into yet. Um, they're good. Interesting. Um, but I'm still yet to kind of get more into this album because I love mainly the first half of this album, the first side, and that is like the side that I play over and over and over. So maybe I should give some more attention to the second side, but the first side is definitely my favorite. And then this one, I, I first listened to this a couple of days ago. Uh, didn't really like it that much at first because I was like, okay, this is slightly cheesy. Oh, wait, no, it's actually really good because I started pointing out things that I, was, that I thought was eh. I'm thinking, well, this isn't eh, this is yeah, I like this a lot. And then I just caved and bought the vinyl as well. So you can see that side by side there. Great album, uh, definitely gonna be listening to this one again. This has got a lot, I think the majority of this album is actually on that playlist. So yeah, you can just have the whole of um, Zenny Outer Mondata on that playlist. I'd probably like this one more than the first album. So my order so far, I haven't listened to the um, the other two albums that come after these. One is Regatta de Blanc, two is Zeni Auto Mondata, and then three is Outlanders de Mont, because I need to get listen to that one again. But yeah, I've been really on a police binge for the past like two weeks. <laughs> Gonna go back to talking about the New Day Festival again. So on that same lineup was the Martin Turner Wishbone Ash project and they played some stuff from the 1972 album Argus and the songs I heard that day from that album I really enjoyed and there was a little stand next to the like stage where you could like buy CDs or vinyl or whatever uh, and they had a nice chunky deluxe version of this album that I got signed I met Martin Turner well me and my dad did such a nice guy we've talked about this already but this is a fantastic album I've been told too many times by my dad to listen to it and I finally did and I'm, I reckon he's happy about that and how Leaf and Stream is probably my favorite from this album it's so good I love it so much and the last one of the month again another roulette wheel spin a band that I have severely overlooked and finally got around to listening to this album well this is actually the front cover um, but it's it's moving waves by focus I forgot how good this album was. I only heard it once before. This was like back at the beginning of the year and I didn't appreciate it as much as I do now. I mean, it's so much more than Hocus Pocus, which is a really, really great song. You know, it's a great hard rock one. Just the rest of the album, yeah, I, I found that the tracks that follow it up until the last one, which I'll talk about in a minute, were just as good as Hocus Pocus. And I listen to this album now a lot more than I did before. Obviously the extended edition, the album version, not the single version, because I'm not stupid. But Eruption, which is the big, nice 20 minute track at the end of this album, was stunning. Re-listened to that so many times. It's They're such a good band, I'm hoping to delve more into their discography now that I've listened to this. Thank you to everyone who's recommended them to me and the wheel thing that's also recommended it to me. Okay. That is the end of this month's listens. Let me know down below what you've been up to this month, listening-wise. Um, I'm happy to hear and maybe take some more suggestions. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on Saturday for another Saturdays with Dad. This week we're going to be talking about bass guitarists, so stick around, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Because it seemed that the drama video was quite popular. There were a few angry comments. You know, we're not all going to have the same taste, are we? And I'll see you Saturday. Bye-bye.